chapter 1, it's Dave, and we're back for our next reading of the New Testament. For those of you who've been following along, you know that we're in the book of Genesis. And today, we'll be starting on, uh, get it going here, chapter 12. Alright, so, uh, sorry, not chapter 12, <laughs> chapter 13. Alright, so, um, if you don't have a Bible, remember that you can go to Bible.com or download the Uversion app and read for free. Um, so chapter 13 today, we're going to talk about Abram's return to Bethel. Abram and Lot separate, and God renews his covenant for a total of 18 verses. All right. And Abram went up out of Egypt, he and his wife, and all that he had, and Lot with him, into the south. And Abram was very rich in cattle, in silver, and in gold. And he went on his journeys from the south even to Bethel unto the place where his tent had been at the beginning between Bethel and Hai, unto, a pla unto the place of the altar which he had made there at the first. And there Abram called on the name of the Lord. And Lot also went with, with Abram, had flocks and herds and tents, and the land was not able to bear them, and that they might dwell together, for their substance was great, so that they could not dwell together. And there was strife between the herdmen of Abram's cattle and the herdmen of Lot's cattle, and the Canaanite and Perizzite dwelled then in the land. And Abraham said, uh, Ab sorry, Abram said unto Lot, Let there be no strife, I pray thee, between me and thee, and between my herdmen and thy herdmen, for we be brethren. Is not the whole land before thee? Separate thyself, I pray, from me. If thou wilt take the left hand, and I will go to the right. Or if thou depart to the right hand, then I will go to the left. And Lot lifted his eyes and beheld the plain of Jordan, and it was well watered everywhere before the Lord destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah, even as the garden of the Lord, like the land of Egypt, as thou comest unto Zoar. Then Lot chose him all the plain of Jordan, and Lot journeyed east, and they separated themselves the one from the other. And Abram dwelled in the land of Canaan, and Lot dwelled in the cities of the plain, and pitched his tent toward Sodom. But the men of Sodom were wicked, and sinners before the Lord exceedingly. And the Lord said unto Abram, after the, after that Lot was separated from him, Lift up thine own eyes, and now look, and look from the place where thou art northward, and southward, and eastward, and westward. For all the land which thou seest to thee will I give it, and to thy seed for ever. And I will make thy seed as the dust of the earth, so that if a man can number the dust of the earth, and he shall, then shall thy seed also be numbered. Arise, walk throughout the land in the length of it, and in the breadth of it, for I will give it unto thee. Then Abram removed his tent, and came and dwelt in the plain of Mamre, M-A-M-R-E, which is in Hebron, and built there an altar unto the Lord. Alright, that concludes chapter 13 of the book of Genesis. We're slowly plugging along, sorry for all the delays, and uh... Hopefully we can stay on track, all right? So, um, good morning. Happy Monday. I hope you guys have a great week. Um, remember, if you're struggling with something, um, it's God's will, not ours, all right? So we just need to follow His will. His will, His timing, and what's meant to be will be. All right? Thanks so much. I hope you all have an amazing Monday from Central Texas. God bless. When life keeps falling and wonder where he is in all this mess, he's right there to guide you, unseen you're not.